Cinema 4D Studio Release 14 and Body Paint Release 14 include a new fully integrated sculpting system, so you can easily increase the level of detail and realism of any object. You can add the sculpting tools and managers to any layout, but a dedicated sculpting layout is provided. To begin sculpting, simply click Subdivide. Each time you click, the level of detail and resulting polygon count will increase, up to 12 levels and millions of polygons. Sculpting takes full advantage of your system and graphics card RAM, and typical systems can handle subdivisions of 4 to 6 million polygons per object. Cinema 4D offers a variety of tools for use while sculpting, including pull, wax, smooth, flatten, inflate, knife, and pinch. While each tool has its own unique function, settings like size, pressure, and symmetry can be linked between tools. Size and pressure can be interactively modified by simply dragging with the middle mouse button, which is a new behavior offered on all Cinema 4D and Body Paint 3D brush style tools. Various attributes can be linked via a user-defined graph to the pressure, tilt, direction, finger wheel, or rotation of a tablet pen, as well as the draw direction, distance, mouse wheel, or randomness. The steady stroke option helps to ensure smooth, continuous strokes, even when sculpting at high subdivision levels. Symmetry options within each tool allow you to easily mirror strokes along multiple axes at the same time, or even radially. The Pull tool offers two special draw modes in addition to standard freehand sculpting that are especially useful when working with stamps. You can drag a single dab, or place and size the stamp by dragging a rectangle. Creating tiled patterns based on stamps is especially easy with the Repeat tool, which tiles the stamp as you draw based on UV interpolation. With the Mask tool, you can easily paint or drag a rectangle to define the area you wish to sculpt. You can also apply a stencil to any tool and manipulate the stencil interactively within the view. Of course, with all of these brush options, it's essential that Release 14 include a powerful preset system in which every stencil, stamp, or complete brush can be easily saved and recalled, either through pop-up windows within each tool or via content browser windows which can be placed anywhere within your customized interface. A variety of preset brushes, stamps, and stencils are provided, as well as preset shaders which provide an attractive display for your sculpt surfaces without the need to set up custom lighting. The Sculpt Layers dialog offers complete control over your sculpting process, allowing you to quickly change the active sculpt level and organize your sculpt strokes in multiple layers, each with its own mask and strength settings. Layers can be arranged in any order and even within folders, so it's always easy to find and activate the appropriate layer. From the Sculpt tag, you can freeze the sculpt in order to reclaim the memory used by sculpting. With the sculpt frozen, you can also allow deformations, so your sculpted creations can be immediately animated using Cinema 4D's powerful deformers and character animation tools. At any time, you can unfreeze the sculpt tag in order to continue sculpting on the undeformed mesh. Once you've finished sculpting, you can quickly bake the displacement, normals, and ambient occlusion from any high-res sculpt level to the base mesh or one of the lower levels. When the baking is complete, the textures are automatically applied to a new material and object with the ideal settings. Sculpting in Cinema 4D Release 14 offers a fully integrated and complete toolset to manipulate your meshes, whether you're modeling a monster, detailing a product visualization, roughing in a landscape for matte painting, or creating unique looks for motion graphics.